Hi guys and welcome to Alistair Coral Photography. Now in today's video I'm going to be showing you a two light setup using split lighting which can be commonly used in low key boudoir, fitness photography, maternity photography and ab abstract bodyscapes. Now what we've got here is two strip lights, 90 degrees to our, our model and they are both at equal power and equal distances away. Actually, I think this one needs to be moved a little bit this way. We've also got Rosa modeling uh, for, for us as well. Now we've got Rosa placed in uh, the middle because we, we find this actually gives the best balance between shadows and the highlights and, and gives the flattering contours across the body. So I'm just gonna show you a couple of examples uh, now. Now light positioning is really, really important uh, for this list lighting setup. As you, you can see from those uh, images, you get a lovely balance of highlights and shadows going across Rosa. Now Rosa, would you mind doing a step forward for me, if that's okay? Now if Rosa does a step forward for me, you're now going to see that more of her body is in shadow, so you don't actually see as much of the uh, out outfit at all. Now if Rosa goes back uh, two steps, and we do those shots again, now actually going to see that the lighting is a lot flatter so you're not actually getting uh, as much of those uh, contour shapes appearing so what uh, we'd want to want to be doing is always making sure that our model is 90 degrees to uh, the lights now just to show you what each light actually does if i turn one of them off so you can see that just with one light the light only falls halfway across Rosa's body, which is why it's so important to have two lights in this lighting setup. So if I turn this now back on and do a few more shots, you can now see the difference. Okay. Now with these lights, I have also got grids on because I wanted to be directing the light more, to, more towards our model and we didn't want it spreading um, spreading uh, away or around Rosa because what would happen is you will lose a lot of those shadows. So if I take these grids off, I'm going to show you what does happen and why we put these grids on. So if I take these off very, very quickly and we'll get Rosa back into position. And so that's one. I'm going to put that down there and I'll just take this one off as well. Uh, Rose, if I could get you back in the middle, that'd be amazing. Yep, that's okay. Okay, so now that we've got those off, can you now see that the, the shadows are vastly less? Um, and what we, we will now, now need is Rosa to actually do a step forward for us to actually co compensate for that. So if you don't have grids, I would recommend just as a tip, make sure that the model is, is then slightly forward so you do get those uh, shadows still um, appearing. Now, you don't just have to use uh, strip lights uh, for this lighting setup. You, you can use ordinary soft boxes, but I use strip lights because I can go from the top of Rosa down, down to the bottom and have it all evenly lit. If you use a square or anything, often you will, you will find the top or bottom will actually fade um, it, um, as it will be darker at, at the bottom or the top uh, based on the, the light position. So having two strip lights, 90 degrees, uh, towards our, our model will actually give, give you a consistent light down each side. So we have just swapped out one of these strip lights for an Octopus just to actually show you that uh, where we said you don't need to have the, the, the same lighting modifiers on each light. But as this one is bigger, you will get a slight wrap around now, but you will still also get the, the, the contour light from the opposite side. So if you now look at these images, can you see that the light now wraps around a lot, lot more? even with the uh, grid on the uh, Octobox, but you can see how flattering it also still is. Now, I hope you have enjoyed this video. Thank you, Rosa, for, for modeling for us. Uh, if you have enjoyed this content, please consider liking and subscribing, and we will see you all in the next video.